Hello guys, welcome back. So in today's tutorial, we are gonna use this model for our MasterCAD tutorial series. So let's get started. I already set up my machine to mill, and I already set up my stop over here. You can see this time we're gonna use cylindrical stop. So click on cylindrical Z axis, and these are all my stock sizes and the value 0.75 negative. It's okay. As you can see, the dotted red line shows the stock so in this model we gonna use high speed dynamic high speed tool paths so let's get started first click on dynamic mill from tool path and then go to machining region select machining chain click over here and then select outer circle then click on C plane click ok and Machining region strategy over here gonna be from outside click ok from outside and then for avoidance region click over here to select avoidance region click over here and then select this chain make sure it's fully selected like this click ok and now you can see the preview the red zone shows where our tools gonna be moved and it doesn't gonna go inside the boundary we selected it avoidance region click ok and now we're gonna select our tool click on tool go to filter and make sure our end mill is selected and now we're gonna select our end mill and this is gonna be of size 3 fourth over here make sure it's equal and click ok and in select library tool click here and then you can simply see our 0.75 diameter fat end mill is selected. So in comment we can say roughing outside and then go to cut parameters and then make sure it's climb approach distance we're gonna make it to 0.375 and then first pass gonna be 0.1 and then our remain step over gonna be as it is default and then make sure to change this value to stock to leaves on floors and walls and this gonna be 0.2 on wall and 0 on floors so now go to depth cut disable depth cut Go to entry motion, make sure it's helical, then go to helix radius, which gonna be 0.5, and then our Z clearance gonna be also 0 0.05, and then plunge angle should be 2. Then go to breakthrough, enable breakthrough, make it 0 0.05 as a breakthrough. And then go to linking parameters, enable fillet, absolute, absolute, this should be incremental, top of stock 0, absolute, and then that's gonna be absolute, negative 0.75. Click OK. And then you're gonna see over here the tool path is generated. And now to make sure it's OK, go to verify option. Select all operations, click on verify. And our verify windows open up. And then go to verify, click on verify, make sure color loop is enabled. So that when it shows the machine, you can see from different colors the machining region. So click on start. As you can see, Slowly, it's taking the shape which we see in the beginning. And now our roughing is done from outside. Now we're gonna do finishing. So minimize this window. Now go to tool paths. Select over here, and then again we're gonna select this time counter tool path. It's gonna be dynamic counter. Okay, 
and the machining region gonna be this profile make sure it's fully okay so now what we're gonna do make sure it's clockwise so this is anti-clockwise so we're gonna make it to clockwise here click ok and now click ok as encounter we it follows the profile we selected so no avoidance nothing like that in previous version so this time go select a tool and our tool gonna be one it that and it so it is 0.125 select library tool then 0.125 click ok this time command finishing boundary or outer bound and then a tool is selected now go to cut parameters make sure it's left compensation and then top to leave some floor then walls zero and then remain as it is and then go to counter ball make it radius of tool that shape the stock means the tool which we used before in roughing so if that was 3 fourth and its radius gonna be 0.375 and then stock thickness to 0.2 as we set up on stock to leave on walls to 2000 and this time then stock thickness gonna be 2 and then go to depth cuts disable depth cuts finishing disable finishing and simply go to breakthrough enable breakthrough make it to point five go to linking parameters make sure everything is absolute except fit then we simply go to step point seven five next click ok and then you're gonna see our tool is generating the tool path and now you can see over here our tool path is generated now we're gonna verify it so then again select all operations click on verify and then just simply click start and you can see over here and make it a bit fast first operation roughing outside and then then the color shows the finishing of outside and you can see it clean up the corners also and now minimize this window and now our second part or second step kind of gonna be doing internal roughing and internal finishing we done with outside boundary so now again select from the tool path dynamic mill and this time again select machining region and select the chain click inside the chain make sure the whole chain is select so click ok and then this time we are gonna machine inside so our strategy is gonna be stay inside and then you can preview the chain and it's one chain which cannot be closed ok and then re machine like we change the machining ok over here so it's fully closed click ok and then preview chain and now you can see over here our chain is closed and this red portion shows the tool where we can gonna move click ok and then over here we are gonna select area mill as we are the pocket so our tool gonna be filter it flat and mean and it's gonna be of path click ok then select library tool click on half inch flat and click ok then roughing inside you can change the speed and speed rate according to the material for the tool life have then go to 
cutting parameters, it reads climb, top fully one balls, one of the two, and force one of the zero. Make it default as it is, and then go to transition, and then over here, make sure it's helical, it is gonna be 0.5, and then plunge angle will be same, there is gonna be 0 0.05. And then go to breakthrough. Make sure breakthrough is disabled this time. And then go to make parameters. Everything absolute except speed chain and then a depth one of the negative 0.5. As this pocket is 0.5 inches down. So click OK. And now you can see over here our tool path is generated. So now again we're gonna verify it. So this time we're gonna only select this tool path and then just you know verify make the video short over here you can see over here it's following the area mill so you can see our roughing shape is generated and now we're gonna do finishing so minimize the window and then come back to the original window and now this time again we're gonna go to dynamic mill, click OK, and machining region, select over here, and this time we're gonna select our same chain. So we just simply can click over here to chain the last. So now you can see it's automatically selected the chain which we selected in the last operation. And now click OK, and then you can see the Click over here to machine start into inside and then chain gonna be the same. So click OK and this time go to tool. We're gonna use one eighth flat and mill. Make sure your stock is enabled. So click on rest material and then in computer compute remaining stock from one other operation. And that operation gonna be our third operation. Because this is the roughing of inside. So make sure ignore small cup is enabled and then go to cutting parameters. Everything as it is. No need to change anything. You can make it walls to zero as we are finishing it. And then go to micro lift. You can change it to 2000. And then go to depth cut. Make sure it disables. And then entry motion. Same as it is before, leave it is default, disable breakthrough, linking parameters, everything absolute except feed chain over here, and then in the clearance you can put 2 inches top, and then in the depth, go to depth, make it negative 0.5, and then click OK, and you can see over here, our can see the cross over here we made some mistake over here and let's try to regenerate it but just due to computer lag I guess it happened and now you can see it's removed as it was doing still going on the tool path and you can see over here these line shows the finishing tool paths and now we're gonna select all operations as we all done with our Tool path generation and then select all operations. You can see these green ticks, check marks over here. And then go to verify selected operations. And now you can see your complete path. So click OK and start. So you can see your roughing is started. Just gonna make sure it's a little bit faster. You can see the outside shape which is done by our 3 8th tool and now our finishing by 1 8th you can see the radius is cleaned and this is our roughing inside and then you can see over here our finishing the remaining 0.2 thou wall and finishing up the corners which are now done by our 0.5 inch end mill so over here so that's it guys 
screen and shows the one eighth and mil for roughing. That's it, guys. If you like this video, please make sure to hit like button and comment if you have any queries. And if you want more videos, please do subscribe our channel as we update our this kind of material on regular basis. So thanks for watching.